I'm Ian Anderson. In this tutorial, we'll use the brand new product DriveX, powered by the Academy Award winning Mocha Tracker, to add tracked 3D text with shadows to a shot. In this shot, the camera flies over the edge of a cliff to reveal a canyon below. We'll add text to the shot that's locked to the image, and we'll add it to around the base of the canyon floor here. We're going to start by finding the part of the shot that we want to add to, and we're going to come in just after the floor has been revealed at this point in the video. Over here in the titles, I've got new C2 DriveX category, and I'm going to drag track 3D text shadows to above that part of the clip, and then trim it with option right square bracket to finish at the end of the clip. There is a built-in fade to this text, so don't be alarmed if you don't see text at the beginning, it fades in and is controllable of course. Now at the start of the clip, which I can get back to with an up arrow if I'd moved, I'm going to select the first tool in the toolbar, and then just drag a selection over the part of the image that I want the text to be attached to. Now in some cases you will want to select the floor, in some cases you might want to select the wall behind something, you may need to experiment in different shots. Now I'm just going to move the toolbar out of the way and press this button to track forward. Now in this case that's pretty much what I'm looking for. I'm going to move into here, and as usual I'm going to double click the 3D text and type in whatever I want. Now you've got controls in the text section of the inspector, and all of these controls work as you'd expect. You can change the size, you can change the baseline, which you may need to do to uh, get the best control over exactly where the text sits. This is especially important if you use some of these other controls in the title to rotate the text around. Uh, and change exactly the way it looks like it's embedded in the scene. Now if I play this forward now, you'll see that that text looks like it's getting smaller. That's because the shot is actually scaling up. Now you can look at track controls in the inspector and turn on scale and rotation. Activating scale and rotation means that the text will scale and rotate as the track does, which can give a much more realistic result. Now I can select this and in the 3D text section, go down to the materials, use the standard 3D controls, and perhaps choose one of these rocks. I can go back to title, and I can use lots of controls here under scene and lighting to exactly embed the text into the shot more effectively. Now the scene rotation will rotate everything, so the text and the lighting. And in this shot I like it to maybe be turned a little bit more like that, and perhaps even a little bit on Z as well. You can also affect lighting rotation, which affects not just the light falling on the text, but the shadow as well. So if I was to rotate that, it'll make the shadow fall in a different place, and it'll affect the light too. You can affect how high the text appears to be by moving the position of the shadow. You can move that in X as well, but Y is typically what you do. And you can also affect the strength of the lights, and that first one will also affect the shadow strength too. The second two controls will only affect the text. Finally, you can change the opacity of the shadow, and also push up the softness if you want to. For added control, you can also rotate the shadow plane, which is catching the shadow there. So if you look at shadow rotation, you can actually position the shadow so that it gets caught in a different way. If you need to reposition the text, just go ahead and drag a new shape. You may need to Try putting this in a slightly different spot and then moving it over. And then just track forward one more time from the beginning.
If you want to, you can repeat this process to add more text through more generators in different parts of the shot. DriveX can add effects and 3D text to tracked objects in your scene and is available now from Cormelt.com. There's a free trial and discounts for anyone who owns SliceX or TrackX. Thanks for watching.